Yeah, living in a van. <laughs> you just gotta, I don't know, it's not really that hard. You just gotta find all sorts of different spots to put it, you know? You hang out somewhere. It's like a don't shit where you eat thing, you know? You don't really want to hang out where you're sleeping, because then people will figure it out pretty quick. I started riding motorcycles when I was about five. Started racing a bit after that. I've always been into skateboarding, motocross, just binge drinking. You, it's, a, it's a bad idea. I'm gonna love it. And so now I've turned this sort of horrible addiction to endangering myself and others into an income. Some days there'll be fucking Murphy's Law, you know what I mean? You're like, fucking chain pops off, receptionists don't, you know, you're like, sign on the X, and they're like, what X? And you're like, the X, you know how to spell your name? It's so much fun. I mean, you get to ride your bike, you get paid for it. There, there isn't a better job. I mean, you, there isn't a better job, period. <laughs> You ever see anybody fall asleep on a roller coaster? You know, you, you know what I mean? Like, like any, anybody that's riding something and, and riding it fast is gonna get, there's a certain excitement to it, unless it's like my grandma, which she would just like scare her to death or something. But you know, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's a natural thing. I mean, anybody would get it. That's why people jump out of planes and shit. As a courier, you're not winning. You're definitely losing. Unlike the tear-stained romanticism depicted in such films as uh, Quicksilver. There's nobody who used to be a stockbroker that's, as, that, that's running a courier uh, gig right now. It's a lot of hardship and it's a lot of friendship and it really, it really does a lot to your character, you know? You really get a nice sort of perspective that you wouldn't necessarily get being cooped up inside. You know, you know, you know. They say like, you know, most people are like two paychecks away from fucking living on the street or whatever. A lot of people are fucking two hard weekends away from being fucking junkies. You know, I mean, that's just the reality. That's why you gotta fucking check yourself sometimes. You know what I mean? If you're out fucking partying this and that, it's like you know. I don't. Know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess there, there is a support system in, in Curring. Like, you can't, it's kind of hard to do something by yourself because you're always around the same people every day. And when you have one, just one person helping out with whatever your, your struggle is, if it's drugs or hookers or whatever, like, you, if you have one other friend, it will help you so much. And then another friend will hop on and help you and help you. Each person that I've come to know and love in the Courier community has taught me so much about who I think I am and more to the point who I should try to be.